hello and welcome back so we went camping we've been out and about a bit the last week as we have been having the slowest days of summer what some people call the dog days of summer for us the summertime is like a pendulum swing where we'll go fast and then we'll stop and then we'll start to pick up speed going the other direction and we'll go fast again I love this time of year. It's my favorite time of year coming into the fall when the heat starts to die down and we start to cool off again is my favorite time of year. Homestead projects are picking up again. We've got some manure that I'm going to be spreading in the gardens. We're doing some cleanup behind the house getting ready to expand our home and our landscaping um, ever better, making it more and more our dream home. We also um, have just moved meat birds. We did the big chicken move. I'm getting ready to butcher and have our chickens to supply us with meat over the winter. This is the worst year for stinging insects that we've had in the last five years. Our first year here was like this too. It has to do with climate conditions, it seems. It isn't just our place, it's the whole hill, the whole area that has yellow jackets this year. So it has something to do with our mild early winter and our late spring. Something in the world is happy for yellow jackets and yellow jackets sting, so we're trapping as many as we can. So this yellow jacket trap, I didn't invent this. This was described to me uh, by another person who also didn't invent it but it's uh, sort of passed its way towards me, and I, I took it pretty much faithfully, uh, recreated it from the description I was given. Uh, so it's just a five gallon bucket, and the five gallon bucket is screwed to a wooden box. And between the two, there's about a four inch hole that passes right through. The wooden box is the bait box. So it's yeah, big enough to where you can just slide like a, a dinner plate sized container what I used is a uh, chicken carcass, just some bones and some fat left over from a chicken dinner. Um, yellow jackets are carnivorous. They're looking for meat. So meat is the best bait for them. So there's the bait box and in uh, the side of the bait box, there's uh, some holes and that's where they enter. They can smell the, the bait coming right out of those holes. After they feed, they, I guess, instinctively fly up. And uh, also over that hole is a cone made out of window screen with a tiny opening in the top. So they fly up, they get through that tiny opening, and then there's nothing to guide them back down. Uh, they can't find their way through that tiny hole again. So they're trapped in the bucket. Um, I, this is the most effective trap I've seen, and we've tried a few different things out here. They die in there. What's that, Sadie? They die in there. And Sadie points out that they die in there. The best thing to do with these hot days is to enjoy them. We've had a lot of social time, which we don't video, especially social time for the kids. We've been joking that it's like a hotel around here. And we also have made a camping trip. We went camping, even though our lives are pretty much camping in the woods, we still do like to go camping in the woods. Particularly, we went up higher in elevation. We ran up higher into the mountains when it was super hot to get just a little bit cooler and away from the bugs.
as long as you don't drop the library book down. So it's not that different from being at home. We still drink a lot of coffee and um, eat kind of the same food, but prepared just a little differently. Um, the girls have pretty much owned the camper since we've had it opened this summer behind the house. I really depended on Stella to pack it up before we left, and she did a great job. Um, you need to sleep in it. But they didn't sleep in it. So at home they sleep in the camper, and it, while camping they sleep in a tent. So, um, but it went really well. The kids are a lot bigger than the last time we tried to do this, so uh, it's a lot easier. I'm putting it right in this little notch. Is that the Arctic? Yes, over against the Arctic, over there is... What's the hot place? The equator. The Sahara. How's the food? The food is awesome. <laughs> I'm a little golden. I only set it on fire once. It's golden around here. Is this a s'morezilla? Mm-hmm. Look at this last little stunt. All right. Happy... Hyper, 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 hyper. Hey, happy camping, girls. Have fun. <laughs> um, please zip this up. Good night. <laughs> good night. And good night to Good night, Cubby. I'll see you in the morning. Good morning, how'd you sleep? Pretty well. <laughs> the great fantasy writer J.R.R. Tolkien wrote that it's a dangerous business walking out your front door. We have found that to be true, especially as unfettered by obligation as we tend to be. A time spent away from day-to-day -day obligations can change everything. We also find that it is necessary for us to regroup, be sure that we're on the right track, and be sure that we know who we are. This year, it was easy to come home to the little house and get excited about another season of taking care of business and building the life we want. Knock, knock. The treehouse is, of course, up next. We haven't done a lot on that important project since you saw us last, but we'll be back on that horse tomorrow. In the meantime, we are harvesting our dinner. We have tomatoes on and cucumbers on and potatoes and green beans, and of course, far more zucchini than anyone could ask for. One hand. And so with the dog days of summer, we begin the season of the harvest. It did work out because I have pancakes on my plate.